so uh, today at the, the IEB annual leadership meeting, the IEB uh, came out with a, a, a new sort of um, uh, page, uh, escape uh, of the industry that had a, you know, a different construct for how various component parts work together. There is no controversy because there's no competition. Um, uh, I think it's wonderful. I think the more points of view, the better. And let's face it, you know, different um, uh, uh, pieces of content get put together for different purposes. I happen to be an investment banker, and I put together the Loomis Gator originally in the corporate development context because I advise large companies in helping them figure out what their strategies ought to be and who they might want to buy in order to bring some kind of order and hopefully consolidation to this fragmented industry. That, by definition, makes it look a little fragmented because, don't shoot the messenger, those are the facts. Those, all those companies do, do exist. But I think that is not, it was not meant to be a product uh, uh, positioning of how the uh, marketplace works. And I think the more voices, uh, the better. So, controversy, not so much. <laughs> right, well, y your chart, the LumaScape chart, was so famous for it being a, a complete snapshot of the ecosystem but it had become so crowded and complex. I think the idea was to put brands back at the center versus ad tech, is that basically it? Yeah, it's not was, it actually is. I mean, the, the, the funny thing about the Lumiscapes, you would have think it would have jumped the shark by now, but uh, there are more weekly views of the Lumiscape now than there were even you know, two or three years ago. Um, so uh, it doesn't, it's, it's not a complete story, right? I mean, we do have a very important constituent, which is the marketers and their messages and the, the, the Lumiscape doesn't even address that. So I think that's great that we have uh, more voices, more ways to convey how the industry works. I'm a big believer in the IAB. I'm a big believer in the messaging around how brands can more effectually work in the digital channel. Uh, but I don't, here's the thing. I don't think, I think it's a bit of a false dichotomy to say it's science versus art or technology versus creative. It's all of the above. In fact, you would not find a single technologist here who would not agree with the importance of great creative. It's, it's almost like the technology is like a, amplifies a great creative. So, so it is very, it's critically important for the digital channel to succeed, especially if it hopes to garner branding dollars, that there be really engaging, uh, you know, creative storytelling in the digital channel. So I'm all for that. It's not a function of whether technology replaces that. I think it uh, augments it. Would you say it's not data versus ideas? Would you call them more friends versus enemies? I think it's friends. I think maybe there is one context where there, there might be, uh, uh, um, uh, the, the two may be competing. And that is for dollars. So, so right now, the majority of the companies that are attempting to bring innovation to the av digital advertising world are funded by venture capitalists. And venture capitalists um, are interested in returns, and the more sure the return, the better. And so there is an element of the money that has come into the industry go towards more sort of near-term problems, slight fixes, uh, uh, amplifications of existing technologies that have proven to be uh, working in the marketplaces. Whereas I actually think that the issues and problems and opportunities around bringing brand dollars into digital are harder problems. And probably ones that, you know, scare away some of these uh, VCs. There are some great examples where, um, uh, uh, you know, Fred Wilson and, and, and Brad Feld and others who have invested in, in these perhaps more social, more engagement oriented uh, uh, companies that, that intermediate in that in that form, but the vast majority of the money does tend to fund the companies that are you know pursuing sort of tried and true uh, uh, applications, which tend to be more bottom of the funnel oriented. And perhaps that's the issue that the IAB is trying to address: is hey, all this money is coming into this sector and really just chasing you know retargeting dollars or what have you. It, it, that's not really helping uh, the problem. Um, and so. Medium. As and a, the media. As a, so if you were going to leave Phoenix with one sort of key takeaway, one headline, what would it be? Well, uh, the messaging around digital branding, I think, has to be fashioned 
in a new context, a, a, a clean slate. So, so branding in the digital channel is not going to look like traditional branding, with the exception of digital video, which is, looks a lot like TV. I don't think it looks like uh, a newspaper, or, a, or a, sorry, a, ma a rich magazine ad or a, a big ad. Uh, fundamentally, I don't believe that advertising in a digital channel will be uh, interruptive media. It has to be contextually relevant and facilitative, especially when we move to a mobile device. There's less real estate, and our consumer modality is we want to accomplish something. So I think to the extent that brands are going to message, it has to be in a way that's consumer friendly and not sort of in your face.